Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Today, we are going to cook our enemies. We're gonna use plasma to overheat enemies and make them completely unmovable. And then we're gonna tear them apart with other weapon systems. Let's see if this is viable or not. I have the slight suspicion that it is not, that it is usually better to just put weapons on your mech that destroy enemies in one go. But... I might get surprised. So, what we're gonna be doing now is, uh, first of all, an interesting contract here. I mean, there's a duel that we can easily play. We might find the Waco Rangers. These are the last guys that we need to get to, to actually uh, finish the Bounty Hunter stuff. So, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Alright, so, actually? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have enough Cantina missions. I was wondering if we should take a look here. But yeah, this is the first thing that we're going to do. Let's go ahead and destroy these independents. The really Alright. So, Mechs are still being worked on for 12 days. That's alright. I am totally fine with that. I wonder if we should bring, or if I should pilot the, um, the Mauler, because that thing is just so crazy. With all the missiles. But at the same time, the Kaiju is the one that I want to focus on today. And I think we're gonna play it here with the PPC build. So that we have a direct comparison to the power level of the mech that we are about to build. Because I will also use the Kaiju as the platform for the heavy plasma overheating idea. Because it has some quirks for PPCs and the plasmas, I feel like they count as PPCs. At the very least, they get upgrades or they get better when you put them in the mech that has PPC quirk. Which is an indicator that the quirks apply to the heavy flamer, uh, plasma cannon. So, let's check it out. And by the way, it's a, it's a pirate version of this... Uh, of this plasma cannon, I don't know if a, if a regular heavy plasma exists, but we're gonna figure it out. Also, I wonder how much heat over time these things build. I was reading up on them uh, using the tooltip here, and it says it, it generates quite a good chunk of heat. But the question is, does it linger? We will see. So, enemies, where are you? Hashtag win the duel, hashtag, hashtag, let's go. Uh, there they are. Oh, there's the dropship. Very good. Okay, so we have a supercharger. We can use it. Just, just to get into a nice advanced position. Oh, the Mauler as well. Look at how fast he's going. Oh, it's good to have a battle buddy with me. We don't have jump jets, which would be a nice thing to have on this mech as well. So that we can jump into the sky, shoot our PPC projectiles, and then fall back to safety. Very brief exposure means that enemies will have a very small window of return fire. So we have a blackjack, we have a hellcat, a hunchback, and a blood asp. Alright. Let me see if I can hit the blood asp in the head. Also, this is interesting to see what the Mauler is doing in the hands of an AI pilot right now. I want him to completely concentrate on the hellcat. And the Hellcat is going down. Beautiful. So, blood ass, where's the cockpit? That is not the cockpit. I guess that was the cockpit. Yeah, let's finish these fools. And then we're gonna go home. Hunchback disabled. There we go. So, I cannot target my Mauler and see the status of the guy because it has a stealth armor. Uh, stealth suite. So. Not even our sensors can penetrate his barrier. But that's good, actually. So we only know that he took a little bit of damage, but I don't know where it went and how critical he is. No Wacko Rangers, by the way, which is a bit of a shame. What do we take? What do we take? The lasers here are not that interesting. It's very little salvage, in fact. Uh, all right. I guess some more heat sinks would be nice. The engine core is good to have. And then I'm gonna take a Hellcat part and, and I don't know, whatever. Like a medium pulse clan. Actually... I was wondering if I should take more of these medium pulses. I don't care. I just don't care. This mission was just a little bit of something uh, to finish the missions here. Oh, by the way, I need to go to the uh, mech... No, not to the mech market, to the equipment section here. Because... The thing that I need for the build is uh, plasma charges, and we have them here. So I'm gonna buy it out. And that is probably it, right? Ultra Gauss Pirate. <laughs> and we have some of those already. That seems fun. 
Long Tom, Lamb's battery pack. Uh, I don't care really. Haywire, no. AP Gauss, Ammo Clan. I mean, they're good. I also want to build an AP Gauss build. I think that's also a thing that's coming up soon. Let's go to an industrial hub because for our rebuild, I don't want to spend too much time. So we go to New Hessen. Let's go. Hessen is where I live. It's New Hessen. Interesting. 4 million sea builds gone, 34 days elapsed. Let's take a look at our friends here. So, Kaiju, you are the one that is going to wield the fiery death on your arms. By the way, PPC capacitors also apply, so I'm gonna show it to you in a second. We're gonna drop the beautiful, beautiful PPCs. Our alpha strike damage is zero now. Mm, and we're gonna replace it with the good old heavy plasma cannons. Plasma rifles, even. 14 tons, so it's basically uh, as heavy as an AC-20. Has a range of 550 meters, maximum 1,100. Shoots projectiles, and as you can see, the damage is 26. It's actually quite respectable damage. Uh, 26 damage in the in the storage, and it's now going up to 40 when we put it on the mag. So that's good. We're gonna put one on each arm, and then we also want the ammunition for it. One plasma charge is 60 rounds. So I think I'm gonna get all six of them, just to make sure. So we have enough of that. The fun fact is here that we don't need that much heat management. Means we can drop a double heat sink or two. We could probably also get rid of the weapon mounts. It's a ton each. This is perfectly okay if we get a little... A little over over cooling. So... Now we need to make a decision. We want to kill the enemies after we have overheated them, right? So we need something that also deals damage. As I was saying, the plasmas already deal good damage. That's actually not bad. Not bad. But I think we need a bit more. Don't think we can go for a ballistic weapon because it'll be too heavy. Unless it's like a like a PMC. PMAC, actually. How many tons? Five and a half? Could I squeeze two of them in here? Would be fantastic. Uh, this is too much. Also, I guess I want something that deals pinpoint damage and doesn't spread too much. I mean, I said I said earlier, AP Gauss rifles, they're good. Uh, not these ones. This one here. We need the yet another one, the yet another version, not the clan inv invasion one. Because the clan invasion one deals 0 0.6 damage, this one is 3.4. That is a huge difference. But I think you need to really stack them in order to get things done. Uh, do we have mag shots? Let me see. L, 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 M, machine gun, A, B, C, D, F, G. Um, mag Gatling cannon. I mean... DPS is 20? Range is good. We have two open slots here. They are light. Do we have ammo? Yes, we do. We have no slots anymore. Screw you. <laughs> wait. Ah, oh, wait. These are two slots? No. That's weird. Why could I not put them in there? I don't know. Heat bank mini could go. We don't need it. So that's. Ah, uh... oh, I haven't put him. I have to put him in the in the spot that the machine gun sits in. Oh, wait, that's weird. We should be able to put two in there, right? Because we have two machine gun cannons. Equipment conflict. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. So the thing needs to be fed, like the weapon needs to be fed with the ammo in the same component. And now both kind of draw from the same ammo bin. That is not what I want. Is it good enough? No, it's not. Go away. No MG cannon. Sorry. We need to go back to the drawing board. PMACs are okay. I think they're fine. Ish. Ish, ish, ish. Ultra 5. Ah. LB5. Blank is not a thing. AP Gauss. I could. Yeah, let's go with something that is... Super short range as well. Ah, I'm gonna take the PMs. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. This and this. What's going on? Not enough free slots? You gotta be kidding me. Really? Six hundred meters. 
How do I get another one of those in there? I want to. I really, really want to. I mean, Endoclan could be... Could be composite, honestly. If we have it. We don't. Oh, wait, we do. Oh, it's time and money that we are investing because of just that. I'm not too happy about it. No. No, 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 no. That's way too much. So, here we go. I'm gonna put a ton of ammo in this thing. Nah. Nah, I'm not. So, we're not going with the ballistic. I wanted to keep the mech cold. We're going for lighter weapons. And lighter weapons are, in fact, missile weapons. Uh, that is enough for two SRM6s. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. I'm taking the... This is too much, right? As for... Uh, yellow jackets? The DPS is really, really low. I don't know what, 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 what that is all about. Alright. Take this. Take this. Uh, one regular bin. One clan bin. And... I'd say another half. There we go. So now we have a ton. And I'd say the last ton, because we have a bit hotter weapons now in form of the missile weapons, I'm gonna give this thing another clan double heat sink. So, there we go. Build it up to 100 tons. Okay. Again, this is all about experimenting with... Um, uh, with the with the plasma cannons. I don't think it's better than what we had before. I really do not, but I want to know what this is all about. So let's check it out. Convoy destruction, I hate that. Um, we could play Battlefield. Sure. Let's go. Let's go and play Battlefield 3069. Like, where are we right now? <laughs> I don't know. What year is it that we are in? Oh, 30... Wow, 3084 already. Crazy. Let's go. Play the first... Uh, actually, the second mission. The first real one. We'll take some salvage here. And some money. Because I believe that House Kurita is not really giving us any goodies. Alrighty then. 67 days. <laughs> we really shred our economy with all of these experiments. But again, it is something that I'm very interested in. I want to know what these things... Do so that in the next playthrough, I can prioritize my loot a bit better. So we, we gotta learn. We gotta do the experiments. And I mean, it might be fun overheating our enemies. Another thing I could have thought about would have been Inferno SRMs. Something like that. So we have something that kind of plays along with our overheating strategy. But I feel like two heavy plasma cannons, which are benefiting from quirks, should be good enough to overheat a, th a single guy, right? On paper, or in my in my head, they should. I mean, we invest so much tonnage. That should be good. Let's go and try it out. Game is a bit slow today. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay. So. In we go. I have not checked the biome. Are we playing in Polar? It's a moon. All right. Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their Nah, it's not a moon. All right, it's a it's a regular good old canyon, whatever. As long as possible. As long as possible. I love that accent. Yep. I'm ready. Oh, we got friends. Finally. Ooh, this is the last bit that we needed. personnel reporting in. Waggle. Okay, that's that's huge! Oh my god, that thing kicks like crazy. Alright, we got his leg. Uh, we go for heat vision. He's not getting particularly, like, red or anything. Huh. I guess I'm gonna say hold fire for the moment, because I want to know what's happening here. Okay. Why? Well, I mean... I know friendly fire is a thing. Oh, we killed him! <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, sorry. I'm not sorry. I am not sorry at all. All right. We're gonna send the attack signal. Using our long range to attack the manticore on the side, and I'm gonna go and kill the tanks in front of us. I mean, against tanks, heat usually deals double or even triple damage. I don't know what the multiplier is in this game, but uh, it's usually double at the very minimum. So we should be able to crack these, but 
Man, these projectiles are crazy. And the kick, the recoil is just so massive. It's a pirate weapon after all, right? Yeah, weapon carrier has literally no armor. Hello. Huh. All right, so far so good. I really hope they kill the tanks now. Hey, friend. Bad news, Commander. They are not getting any hotter. Their Get signature is... Company. Is he shut down? No, he's just immobilized. All right. Yeah, I'm a bad guy. I know I'm a bad guy shooting my friends. This is... I, I have no more recompos than this one here. This is not a role-playing game for me. This is a... a, a, a I would say a sandbox into playing field right now. And I don't need these guys. That's the thing. I don't need them. So we have a hell spawn, a, another hell spawn, and the black jack. Man, these guys are getting killed before I can test it out. Give me some bigger units. Give me some like direwolves and atlases and stuff. Can I? Should I? I mean, I have range. Something like a damage fall off, also stealth mech. Yeah, he was still jumping. All right, let's go and hit the black. You mean the blackjack is hot as hell? I missed it. I cannot fathom the projectile speed. Oh, it's so slow. It's so damn slow. And then again, if we hit him in the back, we kill. Which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Destroying enemies is a good thing, but I need to know if Additional we also overheat, you know? Alright, I'm gonna go for the dropship while my friends are hunting a Jenner. Come on, give me some real opponents. Game, please. Assault mix now. Uh, no. Ah, it's a heavy at the very least. We have a Crusader. The heat is not really a thing here. No. I mean, these things actually shred, which is fun. But honestly, I'd rather have my PPCs, which have a way higher projectile speed, which makes it so much easier to hit things. And they have longer range. And they look cool. Actually, no, this one looks cooler. Green impact. It also seems like they have a PPC discharge. Like an ECM discharge here. Uh, what's it called? Like, you know what I mean. A magnetic distortion thing. That's the word for it. Oh, look at that. Quad max. I missed. Yes, I didn't shoot my missiles yet. I'm, I'm aware because I'm still in experimentation mode. I could do that, you know. Okay. So we are done. But I want to get one more lands to come here. Because right now we didn't really get anything good. Swordsman. Is that the only one? No, it's not the only one. Alright, so we're going to wait for this dropship to drop. Come on, boys. Where are my direwolves, my atlases, my stalkers, my banshees, my night stars, and the marauder twos, and... Ah, all of them. Uh, not really. Hammer hands. Again, this is our indicator here. They are getting mildly warm. And not hot at all. They would be red if they were hot. This is just a mild green. Down he goes. Alright, guys. Have some fun with the swordsman. I'm gonna go now. Oh, there's also a stealthy guy. We're getting disrupted. By him? No. No, no, no. There's, there's some other guy here somewhere. Where's he at? There he is. Vindicator! Right? Got him! Did we? My friends are still firing. 
Yeah, we got him. <laughs> All right. So some extra money. We get 500,000. That's good. I mean, some some extra sea billows are fun, are fine. So I wouldn't really call this a, a viable overheating weapon. It is a strong gun. That's for real. I feel like it is not really supposed to be doubled up. So it's a heavy weapon. Um, that could be a nice standalone with some support. Using it to crack open the enemy's armor and overheat them a little bit at the same time. Um, something that is maybe good in prolonged fights in the earlier game where you have like a hunchback running something like this plus some lasers or um, I don't know like a champion or anything like that maybe uh, like a warhammer using one of those and then some missiles or so um, but in a situation where we have a hero mech running two of these it kills it just kills so huh. I'm not entirely sure if that's good here I think we need to do it again. Let me try to find another mission where we can find more, like, immediate trouble. Alright? Something like a battleground, tier 100 or so. Or like a duel. In duels, enemies are falling a little bit slower because of their high tier pilots and damage reduction stuff and so on. But here's the thing. We finally got maximum intel. I right, take another leopard. Nah. I'll bring uh, one more and we can build one, sure. Cooling lines. I mean, they're pretty good. They are pretty good. Five more. Active probe. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm not gonna even watch and look what we got on top of that. So, bounty hunter. Mason. No more need for intel. It's high time we collaborated on a bounty. I finally finished negotiating some particulars with the client for a bounty I would like to cut you in on. This will be an off-the-books contract, so the terms are non-negotiable. Mm, but you'll still be compensated fairly for your contributions. Our target will be on Martin Sandoval, nephew of Robinson's Duke and Lord of the Draconis March, Aaron Sandoval. The boy and his buddies built up a sizable drug and gambling debt off-world with our client's organization. When our client had enough of their antics and tried to collect, Martin ran to his uncle to rat out the suppliers and loan sharks. Duke Sandoval then used his political clout to have them all arrested by Federation authorities. While his uncle might have thought that this was the end of his nephew's problems, these suppliers and loan sharks Martin read it out belong to a much larger organization. One that will not stand uh, for a noble piss and feeling that he can't walk out of his debt by ratting out the organization's members to Federation authorities, no matter how well connected he may be. Our sizable bounty is for Martin's head and I intend to collect it. Problem is that the particular stack of human shit that is his friend that and his friends are Mac Warriors and officers with the Robinson Rangers stationed on a Federation March Capital world under heavy protection. But I may have found an opening. Martin's detachment is scheduled to rotate to a remote base to conducting training exercises. While in the bush, they'll be stationed at an isolated outpost towards the base of a large mountain range. That is where we can strike at all of them and be gone before reinforcements can arrive. Help me with this and I'll split Martin's bounty 70-30 with you. Wait, do I get the 70? The 70 going uh, my way, uh, given I'm the one setting up this gig. And the client is specifically requesting my services. What you say? Alright. I mean, we gotta do it, right? Sure. Okay, and I'd say we're gonna just ready up our things again. And we're gonna go to the star map and figure out where this thing is. Like right here? Robinson. Sure. Let's go there. Have a good time. Fighting together with the Bounty Hunter. I really hope this is one of these, um... One of these handcrafted missions. Honestly. I mean, it has to be, right? Where there's, like, dialogue and, like, maybe multiple choices or something like that. Never played that. So, let's go. Difficulty 110! Alright. Let's go. I'll take all the salvage. I cannot take anything. Uh-huh. So, it's 10 million sea bills And 30. Oh, wait, it's a fixed payout. Ah, Alright. Alright, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go headhunting then. So, this is my squad. It's beautiful. It's the best. Uh, it's not the best best, but it is very, very capable. That I can say. Yeah, so... If you really want to go for like super late game missions, then um, I think one of the next, like the next big 
the roadmap points is Leopard C3 Link on everybody, Stealth on everybody. And then uh, we should have a good amount of survivability um, to, to finish these uh, endgame missions. And I know I've said it a bunch of times before, I had so many things on my mind. And thank you guys, by the way, as one very active member, um... Uh, summarizing everything that I had on my mind and putting it in a post. But again, it, it's going high priority now to actually put Leopard and Stealth on everybody so we can play end game missions. So let's go! Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons Protect online. the Bounty Hunter forces, attack the Robinson Rangers outpost. Hello, Mr. Kendrick. Sure. ECM support? Wait, what? Oh, I have to keep these alive. For a second, it sounded like it was an option. I'm hitting the rock. That rock had it coming. You know what? No, fatal error! Game crashed! Oh no. I wanted to switch to another mech and then the game crashed. All right, I'm gonna load back in and I want to play the Mauler here. All right, guys, second try. I'm already in the mission again. I'm on the Mauler now and yo, we are here to kill everything. That's the plan. And I believe, I really believe that we're gonna get this done relatively easily. So let's try. Ra ra ra. Uh, I'm gonna go for a different kind of view in a second. There we go. That's way better. So, we, we are supposed to destroy these combat vehicles. I can actually dump fire this. This is way better than these plasma cannon thingies. Okay. So, what do we have here? A Crusader. Let's use our rapid fire rocket launchers and then our multi purpose launchers. What are they called? MLM? LRMs? Something like that. I, got, I forgot about it. Okay, assault mech on the left. We should probably focus that thing down first. Ha! <laughs> he made a fancy jump. To entertain us! Okay, here we go. We got the jumps. Come on! Fire from above! Doesn't work. Alright, now we're gonna go for these awesomes. Nice. Get wrecked, awesome! Down he goes. Ah, here's the Kentaro. So cool that we can already start the barrage while they are closing in. And that's all of them. Alright, what's next? There's more? Ah, uh, so yeah, we have to cross this kind of canyon scenario. That's alright. We can do that. I like it, we have the extended active probe here. I think it's not the Leopard C3 link that we have on the mech, right? Probably want it on this guy as well. Private channel. Nah. What? That's not true. Alright, this is some kind of Contact. double Contact. crossing Contact. thing. We have a hostile battle mech lance bearing right down on us. Can't get a read on him. Some kind of interference in the area. Yeah. <laughs> we have ECM. Yes, Martin. They're shooting at us. We need help. Uh-huh. Reason the alarm now. 
I mean... Wait, wait, wait. They're raising the alarm. Can I intercept that? I don't know. Yep. Who the hell are you people? Why are you here? Do you mean you don't know? After what you've done? No, it can't be. Yes, Martin. I am your reckoning. <laughs> Commander, I'm <laughs> losing your signal against the mountain. Oh. Trying to reconnect. Oh, the drama, the drama. It's tangible. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a bit cheesy. But it's fine. Come on, it's make 5 Let's go. Oh, by the way, do we have to talk about the elephant in the room that there's a new Mac 5 uh, part coming out? With the clans? And yes, I will play it, obviously. says okay enforcer on our kill list i love it all right let's go for the other missiles as well ah, getting a quite good chunk of damage here from a demolisher all right oof, oof, oof. ah jagamek it is jagamek let's go for him is that enough by the way it, it was enough <laughs> oh we are strong I mean, it's a crazy pirate mech. I know, it's modded. But that doesn't mean that we cannot have some fun with it. Because we have been playing the base game, like, so much. That there is barely a challenge for me in that one. So we're gonna explore what we can do here. In the mod. Come on. There we go. Another, not a Jäger mech, but a rifleman this time. That should be enough. Get him! All right, Zeus coming in. I I can really feel like this being a challenge when running Vanilla Max. There's a lot of enemy force coming our way. That thing, and then the what? Igor in the sky. We take that thing real quick. That was him. Oh wait, we're done. Report. There's more. Time to clean up here and collect. Commander, run. We've been set up. Ah. Really? Really? Betrayal? Why? Like. What? Why? Like. We didn't do anything bad or wrong. We fought with him. We we did his contract. It was Rihanna who said we should not do it and go home. And I, I don't get the story writing here. Fahad, I got him. Commander, <laughs> the hunter somehow sabotaged our comms and sensors. Fahad just fixed them up. We're coming to pick you up now. Secure whatever salvage you want to bring with you and prepare for a hard burn. A hard burn. Yeah. yeah. Just like after edit, eating tacos. Alright. Yeah, no, it was a bit too easy because our mechs are overpowered. We should really go for the late game missions. They probably will give us a challenge. The challenge that we need, the challenge that we deserve. And a challenge that we want, actually. So, uh, yeah, so we get a 10 million Siebel bonus here. We get some Atlases. Stalkers, Black Knights, Awesomes, Maraud. Oh, there's a Bounty Hunter. I can take one part with me, but I believe we're gonna get this guy anyway, right? Cannot see the quirks, sadly. Alright, I'll take the Bounty Hunter. I will take, uh, nothing, really. <laughs> Oh, this is all garbage. <sighs> okay. 
Give me that grasshopper. I'm okay with that. So yeah, here we go. Not many can claim they got the best of me. Honestly, I think you had it in you, kid. I didn't think you had it in you, kid. I'm uh, not going to apologize for doing what I did. It was just business after all. You've been around this life long enough to know that this kind of thing comes with the job. Tell ya what though. Keep the mech. I've been planning to upgrade anyways. <laughs> and here's your promised cut. We'll call us e even and go our own separate ways. Wait, now he's my friend again? Uh, I could still use any intel you gather on the various mercs you face. Anyways, oh no, always good to keep up with the competition. But from there, uh, from here out, we'll settle out at a fixed rate. You give me the intel, I'll see what I can do to get some premium items from my stash. Okay? Um, past that, we'll still clear of one another from now on. Don't mess with my business and I won't mess with yours. Sounds good? I hope so. As I would hate to think of what the alternative would force me to do to close this business out for good. Dude. We just slapped his shiny metal butt. And he's threatening me? No one gets away from me that easily, Mason. And I mean no one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the riding on this is kind of awkward, to be honest. But hey, we got a bounty hunter. We got a new Marauder. It's a 75 ton version, right? Exactly. And we have a command mech for a little bit of a sensor range bonus. Directional toss amount for 10% cooldown on the shoulder. Love it. Arm twist angle 30%. Narrow profile. We get plus one evasion. Love it. Uh, we take more damage to our right torso structure because it's all exposed. Uh, and then the bounty hunter. So we have 10% more range. We have 5% more medium laser range. We have 25% more projectile speed for PPCs. 15% cooldown for PPCs and 15% heat. And then we have some extra structure. I mean, it's it's a good Marauder. Let's let's be real. It is a good Marauder. But it only has energy hard points. I think it's kind of hard to do something with it. Um, in the mid game, it would be a fantastic thing. But here's the thing: we have been playing for a while now. Like this is episode. I cannot count. I have no idea what episode it is, honestly. But. I've been trying to go for these bounties as as often as possible, and only now we get that thing, when we already have all of this. So it's a bit late, I'd say, to get a hero mech like this. Um, So game design-wise, I would have given this to the player, like, way earlier. I mean, we are playing modded, I know. So, economy is a little bit different here. Our progress is a bit different here. Um... I don't know. I'm I'm disappointed, I'd say. I was really hoping for some like major showdown and something like huge unfolding in the last bit of this huge storyline. It's barely a storyline. We were just gathering intel. Um but anyway, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a bit like okay, we're facing the bounty hunter and all we get is this little shitty t-shirt. It's fine. <laughs> it is fine. I mean, gift halls and so on. Okay. Guys, um Plasma, what do you think? What about the plasma cannons? Are these good? Are these bad? Uh, I don't know. I think the projectile is really bad. It's hard to hit things with it because I'm used to other things. I have to think about it. I believe our PPC build was better, but I guess the weapon has a justification just to exist. I mean, if all the weapons were top tier, none of them would be top tier, right? So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.